Hey, today I'm going to go over a short introduction to layering images in Photoshop. So go ahead and open up three or four images in Photoshop. I open up some JPEGs from iStockphoto.com and you know, four different images and in CS5 as well as I believe CS4 they automatically open up as tabs up here and you can turn that off but by default it's usually turned on where you have to click on each one okay, just like that. So if you go to file open and open a couple different images there um, I just have some stock photos you'll notice that whenever you click on each one it changes this layers palette. If you don't see the layers palette over here, go to window and then layers and make sure that's checked. Now in order to layer ones, you can of course, if you have one open, go to file place and place another JPEG on top of the other. Or you could copy and paste with the selection technique. Another way to do it is actually click and drag. So up here on where the, this tab is, click and drag that off the top tab there. And then do that for the next one. And what that does is pulls those images off that tab so they're not oops that one's actually over there okay so you can have one on top of each other in the same window like this like even two or you can click and drag it off so you have four different windows just like this and what you do is make sure the move tool is selected over here at the top of the toolbar and then just click and drag one over the other and sometimes the colors aren't exact but um, and then you'll see here and hit this top to maximize it but it's a different uh, proportion there so you could stretch it like that but that's going to distort it if you hold shift it'll maintain the correct proportion and so you can click and drag a corner by and holding shift and you can cover that original one up and then hit enter to apply those transformation changes and then you'll notice right here this new uh, dragged layer or photo actually is becomes layer one and from there you can try different you know layer blending modes and things like that for different effects you can also change the opacity until it's not it's not a common technique um, until it's not so opaque so I'm gonna hit this restore button there and it'll bring back here and minimize that example same thing here if you oops, I'm gonna pull it off that move tool and click and drag one onto the other and same thing here I'll hold shift and if I stretch it out it may actually lose resolution if you ever place a file in InDesign or Photoshop and you stretch it out to larger than it actually is it's gonna lose resolution it'll pixelate a little bit But we're looking at 16.7 percent right here if I do control plus until I get 100%, then you see it's a little bit, but you can't really tell when it's at 16.7% because I stretch it out just slightly. You notice, of course, whenever I use the move tool and drag one to the other, one image to the another image, it adds a layer in that new image. So right here, you have the top layer and the bottom layer is the background. Now notice I can't drag this background above layer one because that's the background layer by default. Every, every one of these JPEGs has a default background layer. In order to make it a more editable layer where you can drag it above other layers, just double click it, hit OK, and names it layer zero. Then you can put it on top just like that or below it. If you want to delete that layer, just click the trash can right there or click and drag and bring it down there. If you want to create a new layer, of course, you can create one there as well. And again, layer blending modes, you can actually click there and just press the down arrow and it'll cycle through them. And it'll kind of give you an idea of the different ways two photos can actually merge, not really merge, but um, be used together. You'll see the different effects there. That's just changing the layer blending mode, how the top layer blends with the one below it. Okay, so you can come up with a pretty interesting look or you can just hit normal and change the opacity and then it just brings the opacity slightly down so you see one. So that's a pretty basic introduction to layering images in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you.